What's up, my name is Phil, AKA Phil Walkie, and wherever I go, I feel the culture. Right now, I'm gonna meet up with my friend Avita while we're here in the New York area. I'm Avita Robinson, the founder of No Madness Travel Tribe and Audacity Fest. But today, I'm just home. My friend Phil is in town from Milwaukee. My friends are like my family, and I'm really bad at small talk, so I get deep, right? So I got some questions for you. Okay, so the way this works is you're gonna pick a question out of the fishbowl and just answer it. Don't think too hard. Initial reaction. Okay. Sounds good? Sounds great, let's go. All right. How has the digital space shaped the movement of black travel? Well, the digital space is the biggest thing to happen to black travel since probably the Green Book. I agree. Because it gives access to so many different people, on so many different levels. I think it gives us the opportunity to level the playing field with the rest of the industry and to own our narratives and be able to build our own communities. It's just completely <laughs> changed the landscape. All right. Why was the Green Book so important to black travelers in the past? Oh. It was our safe space, right? That's really what the Green Book was. It was literally an outline of the places that you could go to in the country where you knew that you were good as a person of color during Jim Crow. We couldn't just go anywhere. You know, it hasn't always been like this, which is why the movement today is so important because it shows the level of progress that we've had. I have this saying, I say, when we know, we go. Yeah. <laughs> My turn. Okay, during the black migration, millions of African-American families traveled north, especially by train. Was your family a part of this historic event? Absolutely. And my grandmother talks about it all the time. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't think she knows it was a part of history. She just thinks that's what it was. That's what she yeah. was just like. like. It was time to move and she doesn't know that it was the great migration. She went from uh, Mississippi to Milwaukee okay. on the train, yeah. Nice. Her nice. husband went first. And then uh, a couple months later, he sent for the kids. We yeah. He got a job and they took the train up to Chicago. Yeah. They took the train to Chicago. He drove and picked them up and took them back to Milwaukee. Wow. How does it feel to be a pioneer in our great migration? It is the most gratifying and fulfilling work that I've ever done in my life. No Madness was like the catalyst to this whole social media based black travel movement, you know? And to see what's coming from it now, almost a decade later, like I had no idea that I was building a movement. I think it's important for the world to see who we really are. So I try my best to give a good example of who black men really are. Yeah. I think it's important that this moment is etched in history. I think it's important that people know that we were here, that we did these things, that we altered a whole section of a travel industry, um, and that we're only getting started. 